All right, everybody, buckle up, because we're diving deep into a world of uh, crime, yeah, comebacks, and a city on the verge of exploding. We're breaking down Fight Night, the million-dollar heist, and let me tell you, this ain't your typical heist flick. We're going deep, deep into 1970s Atlanta, a time and place, man, it's practically a character in itself. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head with that one. We're talking about a city becoming like the center of black culture, political power, all while, you know, this complex underworld's pulling strings. 1970s Atlanta, it's a snapshot of a pivotal moment, you know, a turning point, really, that still echoes today. Man, you said it. So picture this. 1970, Atlanta's buzzing. Muhammad Ali's comeback fight, everyone's hyped. But hold up, beneath the surface, another fight's brewing. And Kevin Hart, he's stepping into the ring as Gordon Chicken Man Williams. We're used to see him, you know, bring the laughs, right? <laughs> so to see him like this, gritty, dramatic, that's got to mean something. It's a statement, for sure. Yeah, like Bold <laughs> move, right? And it and hints at the depth of this story. Chicken Man, he ain't just trying to survive. He's clawing his way up. Atlanta's underworld. And to prove himself, he's throwing this high-stakes after-party the same night as Ali's fight. All for Frank Black Godfather Moten, the city's kingpin, the man, the myth. Whoa, okay, so we've got these two stories happening at the same time. Ali fighting for his comeback. Chicken Man fighting to, what, like carve out his own piece. Mm -hmm. And both of them navigating a world, let's be real, where the rules, they don't exactly apply to guys like Chicken Man. And that's where, you know, history really sets the stage. Atlanta in 1970, man, it was like a powder keg, you know, racial tension, economic upheaval. And into this pressure cooker, you drop Muhammad Ali, a figure bigger than boxing. He was a symbol of change, resistance. You can see how this one event, this fight, could light the fuse. So not just a boxing match, a catalyst, a city already on edge. And Chicken Man's in the thick of it, trying to balance his own ambitions with you know, keeping his family safe. Oh, and uh, Don Cheadle's in the mix, too, as the detective protecting Ali. Talk about turning up the heat. And just when you think the stakes couldn't get any higher, bam, masked robbers hit Chicken Man's party. Cliffhanger. Classic. Leaves you hanging on, right? Who's going to make it out? And what does this mean for a city already on a knife's edge, you know? Okay, before we uh, dive into that chaos, did you notice Kevin Hart, Taraji P. Henson, they're back together? Oh, man, that's a reunion I'm really curious about. Think like a man, they were electric. Then top five, a whole different vibe, but just as good. And now a gritty crime drama like this adds a whole new dimension to their, you know, on-screen chemistry. No kidding. And <laughs> and hold on, it gets better. Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard, back together too. We all remember Hustle and Flow, right? Explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Now throw them into fight night, the spark's gonna fly. And speaking of interesting pairings, the team behind the show is just as captivating. Shea Agbona, she's running the show. And with Kevin Hart's Heartbeat Productions backing it up, well, you know this isn't your run-of-the-mill crime drama. No way. No way. You've got Ogbonna's vision, and then you add Hart's comedic timing, his production savvy. All this, set against the backdrop of like a defining moment in Atlanta's history, makes you wonder, will they shy away from the heavy stuff, or are they going all in on the complexities, you know? Ambition, identity, the fight for power in a city that's, that's reinventing itself right before our eyes. Which uh, leads to another question that's been on my mind. Are they using the Ali fight as just, you know, background noise? Or will the show really dig into the impact he had on Atlanta? I mean, like on its transformation. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, Atlanta's transformation. And this is where things get really interesting for me. The term Black Mecca, you hear it a lot, right? <laughs> But what's it really mean in this show, like in this specific time and place? Oh, no, that's the question, isn't it? And it's key to understanding what's at stake for guys like Chicken Man, especially. See, by the 70s, Atlanta, it's becoming a hub, black enterprise, banks, businesses, newspapers, all black owned institutions pushing back against the system, you know, forging their own path. And it wasn't just about the money, right? It was about influence, culture, having a voice a vision for the future. So Chicken Man, he's hustling in the streets, trying to rise up, but there's this other hustle happening, legit, all over Atlanta. Are we supposed to see those two things, like, side by side? No, there's a connection, right. On the one hand, you've got Ollie challenging the whole damn system on a national stage, global even. Then you got Chicken Man playing by a different set of rules, but that hunger for recognition, for a seat at the table, that's the same. The show, it could really dig into that. The different faces of ambition, how it gets shaped by by race, class, opportunity, in a city that's that's literally transforming before your eyes. So the fight for, for Black Mecca, it wasn't just about laws changing. It was about, like, expectations, changing the story of what was possible, if you were Black in America, I mean. Exactly. And that's what makes Ali so powerful, right? 
This is a man stripped of his title, denied his place, but he fought back, demanded to be heard, respected, in a city like Atlanta where so many were fighting their own battles. Man, that resonated. It gives me chills. You can feel it. Yeah. You know, the energy, the weight of history on these characters. Yeah. But let's get back to this heist. Why do you think they brought this whole, like, high-stakes crime into it? Smart way to raise the stakes, right? And to show the underbelly. Because Atlanta, yeah, it was on the rise, but it wasn't all pretty. There were still, you know, deep divisions, poverty, crime, existing alongside this this new black middle class the heist, it lets the show dig into all that, the different sides of a city dealing with change. And we can't forget those mapped robbers either. Total wild card. What's their presence say about this uh, this black mecca dream? Is it, like, fragile? That's the question that keeps me coming back. Are they, you know, trying to capitalize on the chaos around the fight? Are they tied to, to Chicken Man's world? Or are they something else entirely? It makes you think progress it's precarious you know things can fall apart fast even in a city striving for unity for self-determination there's always someone looking to exploit the cracks makes you think it's it's relevant even now we're still dealing with the same stuff racial injustice the economy the fight for equality just like in atlanta back then one event one moment it can spark change good or bad and that's the power of a story like this right it ain't just about the past. It's holding up a mirror, making us deal with the tough stuff, and asking ourselves, where do we stand? What side of history are we on? Man. So where do you think, where does this wild ride go next? Hmm. I got to say, my head's spinning thinking about all this. Will Will Chicken Man's party, <laughs> is that going to be like the final showdown? Yeah. Will Ollie's fight, will that actually start a movement, or will it just get lost in all the chaos? Million dollar questions, both of them. And I think the show it wants us asking those questions, thinking about how how one thing leads to another, how one night it can just tip the scales. It's like that butterfly effect thing. Exactly, who would have thought? A city on the edge becoming what, a powerhouse? Yeah. And who knows what happens if Ali, if he doesn't step back into the rain, if those robber, if they picked a different night, you know, a different target. It's those unseen forces, man, shaping everything. It really makes you think. And it makes me even more like ready to see how fight night, how they use this fictional heist, but to show us something real. And don't forget the people in the middle of it all. Chicken Man, Ali, the detective, trying to do his job with everything going crazy. Their choices, their struggles, that's the heart of it. So we've come to the end of our deep dive into uh, Fight Night, the million dollar heist. But I'm still stuck on this. How does a city, on its way up, how does it deal with you know the good and the bad? And what are people willing to give up for a chance to win? Whatever winning means to them, you know? Big questions, man. Big questions. No doubt. All right, y'all, there you have it. From the boxing ring to the streets, 1970s Atlanta, the ambition, the history, the mystery. Now it's your turn. Go check out Fight Night. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one.